families are given. Thank Usually it takes sniffing and sipping by the big name wine critics to turn a bottle into a rare vintage. But a well-timed toast in the movie Disclosure has done just that for an obscure bottle of Chardonnay. And we heard all about it through the grapevine. Randy won Palmer. How'd you know about that? I've been looking all over for him. Well, you know, I like all the boys under me to be happy. Congratulations, Meredith. Thank you. When Demi Moore and Michael Douglas toast her promotion with a rare white wine, it leads to a steamy encounter that soon becomes the basis of his sexual harassment case against her. And in the mediation proceedings that follow, the 1991 Paul Meyer Chardonnay takes on a pivotal role. Do you know where your assistant got that wine? I assume that she got it from the liquor store down the street. Would it surprise you to know, Ms. Johnson, that there isn't a single liquor store in Seattle that carries that bottle? The truth is, there really is a 91 Paul Meyer Chardonnay made at a small winery in California's Napa Valley. Only 400 cases were produced, and winemaker Jason Paul Meyer says it's a special vintage. Full-bodied, powerful uh, Chardonnay. I like to call it industrial-strength Chardonnay. A favorite of connoisseurs, the wine sells for $24 a bottle, and when the screenwriter heard about it, he decided to work it into his script. Paul Meyer shipped the filmmakers two cases, but was never really sure how prominently his wine would be featured until he saw the movie. Oh, I just about fell off my chair. I was so happy. I was just bouncing up and down. People were wondering, what, what's this guy in front of me doing here? Now, finding a bottle of a 91 Paul Meyer is next to impossible, according to wine distributor Mark Lauber. There's never been enough wine to go around, so this movie has just uh, made it even more intense than it already was. Demi Moore has an autographed bottle from Paul Meyer, and a few bottles of his 91 red wine are still available in stores. But now Paul Meyer wishes he'd set aside more in his private stock. I think I've got three bottles myself in my cellar, and that's it. I swear to God, only three bottles. That Paul Meyer 91 is all spoken for, but Jason Paul Meyer says he has a nice 93 that'll be ready in March. Now, if he can just get it worked into a script. It's 7.01. It is Wednesday. Let's see that date. December 28th. Yes, it is. You're getting through the holiday season just fine, and we're glad to be here with all of you. 7.01 in the morning. I'm Jan Wall, standing in this week for Terry McGovern. Lots of fun still coming up on Bay TV Morning, including, uh, let's see, first I'll tell you the, ge the guests. Yes, the guests. That's right. The movie Disclosure profiled a bottle of wine. It had a lot to do with uh, the plot of the movie and what finally happened. Well, it was a Northern California winery, and we'll find out how that winery owner got so lucky to have that product placement in that very popular film. Should force redemption in the indenture? Mm-hmm. You do me a favor. Look, Alan, Brown will go 250 on this. Easy. Let's just do this thing with a top-down recap. Not a bad idea for a girl, huh? <laughs> Let's talk for a thing. Okay, bye. 91 Palmer. How'd you know about that? I've been looking all over for it. Well, you know, I like all the boys under me to be happy. Congratulations, Meredith. Thank you. Oh, Paul Meyer, you heard him say it. That's Michael Douglas and Demi Moore from Disclosure. But Paul Meyer, it's a local name, and this is a great local story. Uh, Jason Paul Meyer owns the wine that they were talking about in the movie Disclosure. He owns the winery, in fact. And I want to find out how he got so lucky to get that kind of publicity and also a little bit about owning, uh, uh, owning a winery, which I think is a pretty scary thing to do in this day and age and all the competition in the Napa Valley, especially. Let's welcome to the show, Jason Palmeyer. Hi, Hi, Jason. Pleasure How to be here. did it happen? How'd you get a break like that being mentioned in a major film? I really don't know, actually. It was pretty much serendipitous. I just got a phone call from the production department from Warner Brothers, and they said, we'd like to use your wine in a movie with Demi Moore and Michael Douglas and so on and so forth. And, of course, being rather naive when it comes to this sort of thing, I said, well, my wine sells for $24 a bottle and so on and so forth. Uh, the next day, I got a phone call from uh, an executive vice president who explained to me in a hurry how lucky I was to, or how fortunate I was to have my wine chosen. After all, there's another 800 uh, sure. beautiful Chardonnays on the market. Why not use one of those? But well, why was it chosen? Um, I guess uh, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to have my wine known down in Los Angeles. Uh, Barry Levinson, the director of the movie, sure. or his screenwriter, must have known about my wine, must have enjoyed it and uh, thought of me, or thought of my wine, when it came time to uh, 
and write I, the script. I believe Barry has a lot of contacts up here. I think he's even moved up here recently, or has a house up here. So maybe uh, he really knows about the wine Could business. be. Obviously, uh, he must be... Uh, quite knowledgeable about wine. Oh, yes, he made one of my favorite movies where there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, cl glass clinking going on called Avalon. Absolutely, oh, I love what that a, movie. What a terrific film, really celebrates uh, food, wine, and family. Uh, anyway, back to Disclosure and your, your winery, actually. But what's so fun is not only that it's mentioned, that it's so prominently mentioned in the movie. It actually is uh, something very important to the defense of Michael Douglas. Let's take a look at a moment from the movie Disclosure that really highlights Palmyra wine. Ms. Johnson, I just want to be clear on one thing. Mr. Sanders suggested the bottle of wine. That's right. But you bought it. I sent my assistant, Mrs. Ross, out to buy a bottle. That afternoon? Yes. Did you tell her what kind of wine? I said to get a nice Chardonnay. I remembered that Tom liked white wine. From those trips to Napa, that he was sort of an amateur wine connoisseur and that he would be impressed by a nice bottle. Yes. Do you remember the wine? No. The 91 Paul Meyer? Yes, that's right. Do you know where your assistant got that wine? I assume that she got it from the liquor store down the street. Would it surprise you to know, Ms. Johnson, that there isn't a single liquor store in Seattle that carries that bottle? Mrs. Ross is very resourceful. Very resourceful. A bottle of wine you can't find within 500 miles of Seattle. I have no idea where she got the bottle of wine. Isn't it true, Ms. Johnson, that you told Mrs. Ross three weeks ago that you wanted a bottle of the 91 Paul Meyer for your meeting with Mr. Sanders? That's not true. And when she couldn't find it, you said, oh, oh well, what, what, what was that? It was, had such managerial brio. Oh, here it is. Um, if you don't find the wine, find a replacement. Man, two close-ups saying Palmeyer, 91 Palmeyer. Does it get any better than that, Jason no Palmeyer? Uh, have you heard people been, people been calling saying, I want the wine from the movie? Holy smokes, the phone's been ringing off the hook. It's, it's been like a miracle for my wine business. I'm so happy for you, but you Thank weren't you. always in the wine business. No, I wasn't. I started off as a trial attorney. And um, I know, and I used to be an amateur winemaker, just like they said, uh, no, a wine connoisseur, just like mm -hmm. they said in the movie. And, but I found that in the evenings, when I'd come home from a hard day at, at work, I'd spend more time reading wine journals than I would read uh, law journals. It's a passion for you. Absolutely. This is a one-man company. You own it, like my friends the Calhouns who own line, Landmark Winery. There's all kinds of people who just specifically own little wineries, and it's not a big corporation. That's correct. I'm a one-person operation. That's wonderful. I just, uh, do it pretty much all on my own. I'm ha this is a break for you, then. This is kind of a, a nice thing. You're not like McDonald's or some corporation that tried to get a product placement by giving the company money. You actually just had a break. Oh, it's terrific. Going to be on this great movie all over the world. Ooh, it's fantastic. A, a success story. I, I love that. An American success story. Jason Palmeyer. It's Palmeyer Winery, and it's located where? Up in Napa Valley, California. And they just have to go to the Napa Chamber of Commerce, and you'll find it. Oh, Go and see Disclosure again and then write it down. Paul Meyer, that's the name. Ooh, I can't believe how much publicity he gets. And you know I'm glad because it's honest and it was just a good break, the man. God, it could happen to any of us. Happy holidays, Jason. Thank you. You too, Jan. Thank you. Coming up, we'll talk uh, about business. Uh, maybe we'll get a break when it comes to the world of business. Who knows? And much more. Stay with us. <laughs>